look, what I want to, what I want you to be thinking about as we go through the show today is I want you to think about expectations, because really this comes down to when we talk about reciprocity. So much of it, in in whatever venue we apply it, it comes down to expectations. And I think that most of us, when we do something nice for someone, expect them to acknowledge it. And you know, it's funny, the other day I was driving in the car and I let someone uh, go by me or I let someone into a parking lot, another car. And what happens when you do that? You expect the person to wave and acknowledge it and say thank you. And they didn't, and I kind of muttered under my breath, you're welcome. And so my son was sitting alongside. He said, well, Dad, why did you say that? And I said, well, I was just a little annoyed that I tried to do something nice and they didn't acknowledge it. So if we do something nice for someone, whether it's let someone buy us on the, on a, on the highway, you know, open the door for someone, give them a gift, um, you know, give them a, a, a day off because they've been doing such a good job at work, whatever it is, do we, do, is any of that unconditional? Because if we're expecting some kind of acknowledgement or thank you and they don't give it, I think there's an assumption we're making that they don't appreciate it. Because if they don't even take the time to acknowledge and be aware of that a nice gesture was taken, then it, then it, they don't appreciate it. And you know what happens? What happens? There's a, there's a, there's a poisonous, track that that leads to because once you start thinking someone doesn't appreciate something then you worry is it going to become an expectation and i'm not talking about letting a car through but in certain things when you do things for people if they don't appreciate it and you interpret their lack of appreciation as they expect it then it can really impact your ability to want to do nice things for people 